Today, we're using a pocket operator with vocal effects. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to James Bond. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. And no, that was not a joke. The patron's name is James Bond. Okay, so today I'm going to be trying to use the PL128 Mega Man with the Roland E4, and I want the E4 uh, to be the effects unit for this video. Now, I have attempted to plug in a splitter into the headphone out here, or headset out here, which you can actually split into a line in and a line out, but I have not been able to consistently get the line in to work. I've tried five different splitters, a whole bunch of different cables, just everything, and I can't really get it to work. So I figured instead I would try to plug directly into the mic in. Now, I'll be the first to admit I don't know a ton about audio rules and stuff like that, so this might be like some kind of incredibly not right thing to do, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. So, uh, I'm plugging my pocket operator into that mic in. Let's go ahead and turn on the E4. Gonna go ahead and set my volume on my PO here. Make sure reverb is off. Oh! Yeah, uh, it's coming through just fine, I think. Right? Does reverb work? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's actually super simple. Cool. Well, I guess, uh, let's have some fun. Can I play with the pitch? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Definitely some weird... Some weird, like, glitching coming out of that. That's interesting. That's so cool. Let's try Formant. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's try a different sound. Yeah. Okay, this is this is great. I really like this. We could play with auto-tune, but I'm not sure if it's really going to do too much. Whoa. Super glitchy when I set it to a uh, fixed mode. Interesting. Whoa. Okay, so that's weird. Whoa. Okay, we are definitely going to explore that in future videos. Uh, the scatter work. Yes, it does. It's not really changing the pitch. Admittedly, I have not really jumped into the scatter effects at all, uh, even just with a normal microphone. Let's go ahead and turn on harmony. I'm very curious as to what this will sound like. Okay, definitely fattened it up. Uh, what are we set to? Oh, I think we were set to octave. Yeah. Octave down. Let's try uh, this one, which is a power chord, basically a fifth. Yeah. That's actually pretty, pretty good. It's 
Let's change sounds again. Maybe something down low. Okay, that is super cool sounding. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Um, let's go back up high. Wow. Let's try... How about a minor fifth? It's really interesting to me, uh, the sounds happening right now, it sounds like the E4 is kind of glitching out, like it doesn't quite know what to do with a, a synth signal coming in. That all sounded pretty normal. Let's try a different sound. Yeah, like, like that right there. Really cool, though. Let's set this back to... Actually, let's just turn it off. Let's try the vocoder. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty neat. And change our wave, of course. There is a lot to explore here. Definitely. This is super cool. Again, I'm not sure if this is something that's recommended or not to do. You know, plug a, a synth into the mic in. Uh, but the sounds coming out of it are pretty cool. Uh, pretty inspiring. Let's try a different effect, though. Let's try... How about chorus? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Harmony at the same time? This is crazy. I'm going back to the reverb. I quite like how it sounds. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Wow. Now I'm curious as to what else we can plug into the E4. Uh, maybe the Micro Freak will be next. This is a pretty fun little uh, experiment. I quite enjoyed it. And I'm definitely going to keep this combination in mind uh, for when I need those kind of super uh, airy chiptune sounds and I want to do it all with uh, hardware. I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too, doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. If you haven't seen my big announcement for my new show, Sample Something, go ahead and watch yesterday's video. I will link it in the description below. In the meantime, thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.